Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to learn how to knit this beret and I called it the Agnes beret. I don't know why, I just thought that that name would suit this uh, star beret. It's very simple. I will have a PDF download pattern in my reverie for you to download and uh, in this video I'm going to show you the technique, how to start it and also the increases and the decreases and everything you need to know in order to be able to knit it. Now as you can see uh, it starts here in the middle with a few stitches and then you keep on increasing and decreasing with a make one, make three, yarn overs, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you will do some increases here and then some yarn overs here for the design. There you go, you can see that. No, you can't really see it. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's in a star shape. It has six points and you keep increasing to here and then you start decreasing and this is what it looks on the other side. I finished it with a two by two rib and quite, quite a loose cast off because um, you don't want it to be tight around your head. So you could do it for children, I guess. Maybe, maybe you start decreasing at the point Anyway, the pattern is for adults, women, and um, if you want to knit it for women, then follow the pattern. If you want it for kids, then I will try to do a kids version. I can't promise anything yet, but this is for adults. And it's a berry. I've ever done the tip here. There you go. It has points, it has rib, and for mine, I used my Knitology by Knit Crate wool, 100 grams. You can use any worsted weight yarn. And um, yeah, you will use about 160 meters, 180 yards. I knitted mine in 4.5 millimeter needles. And it, it it's a little bit loose because I wanted it to be flimsy. Now if you want it denser then maybe you want to go down a needle size. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how to start it. So this is what you need to uh, be able to knit the berry. You need double pointed needles and I have these longer ones. They're 4.5 millimeter. Uh, I think they're pony. You can use whichever ones you want. You also need circular needles. So I have these ones here with a longer cable because we're going to start with double pointed and we're going to go into magic loop. We're going to put that on the side and you need your wool. And like I said, mine is the Knitology by Knit Crate and is a worsted weight superwash merino. Superwash means you can wash it in the washing machine and it turns out perfect. And also it's 100 grams. It's enough for a hat, for a berry, I guess. Um, 180 yards, 164 meters. And I used 4.5 millimeter needles. They say you should use five, but I'm quite a loose knitter. So I wanted to go down half a needle size. So this is how we're going to start. You're going to... Uh, oh, you also use a row counter because this whole thing, the, the star uh, is worked on around 30 rounds. So you need to be on point with the row counter. So we need a row counter as well. And the way I like to start is just a, uh, do a slip knot. Not, I don't leave a long tail because I'm only going to cast on a few stitches. So do a slip knot and then I'm going to cast on nine stitches. Just like this. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I like to do it on double needles so I can work easier with my, let me just put this on the floor. I can work easier the first round. Now we have to split this nine stitches on three needles. So I'm just gonna take one needle out and start it from the end. I'm gonna put three stitches on this needle. One, two, three, and you always slip as if to purl. And then I'm gonna take another needle, which is the third one, and I'm gonna put three stitches on this one. So now we have three needles. Let me just put them down so you can see what I'm doing better. We have nine stitches on three needles and you want to switch them like this. So the pearl bumps are facing up and the yarn is coming from the back. From your from your back needle here and we're gonna hold it like this ignore that I'm gonna hold it like this and we're gonna start knitting in the round with this with the fourth needle right here so I'm just gonna do one round of just knit all stitches and you want to hold them a bit because they might be loose and you might you know end up with them falling out so you don't want that but sorry about the noises just start by knitting so i'm going to knit the first three stitches on this needle one Ooh, two this is quite tricky especially on camera three okay then you want to go to your next needle and knit three one and you want to pull on the yarn so it's quite tight to start with two three and then you need to do the third needle Oop. just make sure you don't twist you don't twist them and I just hope I didn't twist mine no I didn't twist mine Okay, so knit the last three. Can you see? One, two. This is the way you start a Christmas bubble as well. So if you know how to do that, then this is going to be easy for you. There you go. So that was round one. And make sure you follow round by round your uh, on the on the pattern, because the next round we're going to have to do increases, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Make three increase in the next segment. So for your next round, we need to double our stitches, and we are going to make one in between each stitch, which means knit one, make one, knit one, make one, keep going like that until the end. So I'm just gonna knit the first stitch and then I'm gonna make one. So in order to make one, let's see if you can see, you need to pick up that yarn in between stitches, that one over there, put it on your left needle and knit it through the back loop. So we made one, then knit one, make another one. Pick up that yarn, put it on your left needle and knit it through the back loop. Or you can make one however works for you. You won't be able to tell much um, when you finish it. Then I'm gonna knit one and then I have to make another one because we have to have six on each needle. So we have two, 
four, five. Let's make another one here. Pick up that, put it on your left needle and work it through the back loop. Ooh. It's very tight. Come on. <laughs> There we go. So we have six, two, four, six. Okay. Then we're going to knit one, make one. And I'll show you at the end, you might end up with five on a, on a needle and seven on the other one. We're just going to rearrange them at the end. So this is a make one. It's so hard to make it. Okay, then it's a knit one, then it's another make one, then it's a knit one, then it's another make one. Ooh. It's a knit one. So we have two, four, six, seven, and we have seven on this one. Okay, so I'm going to knit one, make one, knit one, make one. You can't really see it here, can you? Come on, there we go. Ooh. And knit one and now you should have enough stitches because we have seven here so we're just gonna move one just rearrange your stitches to have six stitches on each needle there we go so as you can see I have two four six you can't really see two four six two four six two four six so now I have 18 stitches and that was uh, round two. Okay, so I've skipped to the row where we need to make three because I want to show you how to do that. So just follow row by row um, until you get to the row where you need to make three. And now we're going to separate um, each needle into two so we're gonna have two petals coming out of each needle here so let's see how we're gonna make three so to start with I'm gonna knit one then it says make three which means knit one per one knit one into the same stitch so through the front I'm gonna knit one I'm gonna bring the yarn forward I'm going to purl one, put the yarn back and knit one. So I made three, then I'm going to knit one and I'm going to repeat this on all the needles. So knit one, make three, knit one, yarn forward, purl one, yarn back, knit one and knit one stitch. There we go. We started two petals there. Move on to the next needle and do the same thing. I'm going to knit one, knit one, purl one, knit one in the same stitch and knit one. That's another petal. Then knit one, and make three in the same. So knit, don't take the stitch of the left needle, purl, yarn back, knit. And knit the last one. And do the same for the other needle and continue following 
row round by round until you need to do more increases and I'll show you what those are. I've continued doing the rounds following the pattern and you should do that as well. And now I want to show you how to do the other type of increase. So I've showed you how to do the make one, make three, and now I'm going to show you how to do the yarn overs. And then you continue following the pattern until you need to do the decreases. And I'm going to be back to show you how to do those decreases. But for now, I'm going to show you row number 10 which is knit two, pull five, knit two, and then the pattern says yarn over. So you just do yarn over like this and continue with knit two, Pull five, yarn over. So that's how you do the yarn overs. And the following rounds are going to have a lot of yarn overs. Just follow the pattern as is written and I'll show you how to start the decreases on the hat. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. If I can reach and get it. So we're, we're here, right here. Once we've done this section, we're going to start the yarn overs on both sides. So on this side and on that side, and we're going to increase. We're going to increase this section here. And also at some point here, we're going to start the decreases to make the point of the star. And I'll show you once we get there. So continue following your pattern and I will see you when we need to start decreases. I've knitted quite a bit and we're ready to do some decreasing for the for the petals and I'm just going to show you how to do um, the decreases. I will show you the whole row because everything is written down in the pattern but for the first row starts like this knit one and then it says slip one knit one and pass the slip stitch over and that's a decrease so the petal is going to start to go that way now then I'm going to pull one two three And then the pattern says knit two together. So I'm just going to knit two together. Then I'm going to knit one. And then the pattern says pearl. Uh, I think it's pearl 11. And then you repeat that to the end of your round. So I just want to get to the decrease again and show you the decreases one more time. Let's see how many I've pulled. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Oh, no. Two more. Three more. <laughs> just follow along your pattern and you'll You'll see. Okay, so decreases again. I'm going to knit one. I'm going to slip one, knit another one, and pass the slip stitch over. Then you're going to purl until you have to do another decrease. Which is a knit two together through the front, knit one, 
so this is the decrease row and these are the decreases for the petal and um, I'll catch up with you when we're ready to do a more complicated decrease which will be from three stitches to one stitch. So as you can see I've switched to circular needles because my stitches were falling off the double pointer needles so I don't need the double pointer needles anymore. Just lay them there on the floor and um, now I want to show you another decrease which makes three stitches into one and you'll find this I believe in row 25 and 27 of the pattern it will tell you just uh, look at it um, look for the double decrease and uh, I'll show you how it's worked let me just pull to the place where we need to do the double decrease Okay, so we have five knit stitches here, which are which is almost at the tip of the petal, and we're gonna knit one, do the double decrease, and knit another one, and I'll show you what what it looks like. And I've done one here. I don't know if you can see. Let me just grab a double pointed needle. I've done one here, and we have five stitches and now we turn them into three and as you can see our work is going towards the middle like this and that's what we're gonna do now and this is how you work it so the pen tells you knit one and then do a double double decrease so I'm gonna slip two stitches as if to knit them together like this but I'm just gonna slip them to my right needle then I'm gonna knit one and then I'm going to pick those two, those two stitches that I slipped and pass them over the stitch that I just knitted. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. And then knit one. And then purl, I believe, 15. And I'm going to show you how to do it again. And then you're going to work another row. And on row 27, you're going to have to do a double decrease again and that will be the tip of the petal and I'll show you on my knitted hat soon enough just hang on here let me finish okay oh sorry so now we're ready to do another double decrease we have five knit stitches here so I'm going to knit one then I'm going to slip two as if to knit them together, knit another one, and slip those two stitches over the one I just knitted. That's a double decrease. So continue your double decreases. Let me just get a hold of my other hat that I finished and I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. Point a needle to show you. So as you can see we have the yarn over us here and here and the petal will close in right here and then the pattern will tell you continue doing the increases and you see them here on both sides of the tip of the petal so we're going to continue doing the knit one and yarn overs on both sides of the knit one until um, your pattern tells you to start the decreases. So like I said in the previous um, segment, um, I showed you how to do the double decrease, which is this one here. It makes the tip of the petal. And we continued increasing for maybe another inch and then started the decreases here. And you get all that information in the pattern. The decreases that I've done are pelted together on both sides of this knit stitch here. And 
I'll show you what I've done. As you can see here, I started the decreases and I've done every other row. Purl two together here, purl two together here. Continue purling to the next. Purl two together before the knit stitch, purl two together after the knit stitch. And then you start the ribbing. And I've done two by two rib because I think it looks nicer for this, for this berry. And also a quite stretchy bind off. But I'm going to show you how to start the ribbing. And then once we're done with the ribbing, I'll show you how to do the stretchy bind off. So um, we're left with a multiple of four and I think that's 96 stitches all around this. So I'm going to start with um, knit two, then purl two, knit two, purl two and continue that all around. And I've done a knit one here, then I'm going to knit the second one. Yarn forward to purl two. Yarn back to knit two. Yarn forward to purl two. And continue like that all around until your ribbing measures about two inches. It will be written in the pattern. And after that, we'll be ready to do the stretchy bind off. We are finally at the end of the berry and I'm going to show you how to do this stretchier bind off so it doesn't like um, get tight on your head. And then this is I cord and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I've done about, um, oh here we are, about an inch and a half maybe of um, ribbing and you can do as much as you want. I think this is this is enough for the for, for the berry that that we're making here. Ooh, everything is tangled, and this is the way that we're going to we're going to do the bind off, stretch your bind off. So as you can see, I'm at the beginning of my round. This is my um, marker, and this is how I'm going to start. I'm going to knit one knit another one then I'm going to put my left needle through both loops both stitches and knit them like that together through the back loop <coughs> sorry let's go again there we go then the next stitch is a purl so I'm gonna purl it I'm gonna put my needle again through both of them and knit them through the back loop. There we go, we started the, um, the bind off. Then the next stitch again is a purl. I'm gonna purl it. Put my left needle through both of them and knit them through the back loop. The next stitch is a knit. Put my needle through the both of them and knit them through the back loop. And as you can see, let me just do a bit more. Yep. Things do get a bit stretchier. I find. There we go. Let me just move this here so I can show you. The um, the end, the bind off, is going to be a series of V's. I'll show you here. Can you see? This is what the bind off is going to look like. This is where I had to weave in the end. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. And as you can see, it's, it's stretchy enough for what we needed. So continue doing that until you finish your um, bind off and you can weave in the end and I just want to show you how to do the I cord 
So for the eye cord, you need double pointed needles. I have the ones that I started the berry with and I'm going, oh, okay. I'm going to do a slip knot and don't leave a long tail because we're only going to cast on three. So just a simple slip knot. I'm going to put both my needles through and cast on two more. As you can see, I have three stitches on my needles. There you go. And I'm going to, I'm going to start like this to knit all three of them. So knit one, knit another one. I have a video on this. Um, so I link it down below. But I just thought that maybe if you want to knit this berry, you want to, you want it all in one video. So now what we're going to do, we're not going to turn the work. We're just going to slide the stitches here and the yarn coming from the left side at the back. We're going to start knitting again. So knit one and you want to pull on the knits because, uh, you don't want it to be too loose and then just pull down like that. And, um, like before, we're just going to slide the stitches at the beginning of the needle with the yarn coming from the back stitch. I'm going to knit again. It's very simple. It just, um, I wrote it in the pattern how to do it, but I think it's easier if I show you because it's a bit hard to explain this stitch. Well, the I cord. And let me just do a bit more. I have here about two inches and what I'm going to do now is bind off. So uh, the same, slide the stitches at the end of the needle, knit one, knit another one and pass the first stitch over the second. Do the same, knit one, pass that stitch over and then put your left needle through again and bring the yarn through. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, oops. That move everything off the table. And just pull it through like that. And you have about two inches of eye cord. As you can see, it's kind of like um, we knitted in the round a little tiny tube. This is what it looks like. And in order to put it on top of the beret, I just folded it in half and stitched it together like this because I think it looks nicer. And then when you close in the gap, when you close in this gap here, we're just going to put it through like that and weave in the ends like that. And that is it. That is your beret all finished. This is what it looks like. And I find that if I fold it in half, it stands up better. It's not as flimsy. That's your berry. I hope you enjoy knitting it and it keeps you warm this winter. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also let me know if there's anything that you're interested in seeing, any stitch, any, uh, you know, any technique, anything like that. And um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.